We're in downtown Los Angeles. There's a bit of a split in downtown between kind of the financial and commercial district where there is the highest strata of wealth that in Los Angeles County and then where we are, which is actually the lowest strata of wealth here in LA County. When the virus hit and the quarantine hit, obviously a lot of people's lives, including mine, were pretty disturbed. I got laid off. I was looking for opportunities to volunteer, serve, do something. New Story also, as a church, was looking for opportunities. And so we have turned the church building into a, like a legit food distribution operation. Throughout the week, we get food from different sources. We store it here in this room. That's technically the kids' church service room, but we're using it as a produce storage room for now. And then on Saturdays, all the volunteers come in. We move all the stuff out of here into what was once the lobby. Everything gets packaged. The boxes and bags get moved outside. Cars come through. The cars receive a box per family. And then we also pray with them. The one piece of advice I would give to any church that maybe wants to be a part of this or do something like this, have a food pantry, is just start where you are and just do it. We had no idea what we were doing. And after one or two weeks, we're like, okay, we got this, we, we, we get it. When it comes to actually bringing those care packages outside and actually delivering them to our community, we intentionally want to slow things down because that's where the ministry is. This operation, it's been a, a chance where God has really answered our prayer that we are able to reach the people that are our neighbors. And it has nothing to do with the church service. We are their neighbors and that we're not just a building. The transformation in our own church has been incredible. It really has gone from attendance, uh, you know, were you at church today, to how are you being the church this week? It's easy for us, I think, to say, you know, we love you and we're praying for you. It's hard to really sit in with people and their struggle and their suffering, bridging the gap between them and Jesus and showing the tangible, material love of God in their lives. My name is Aaron Ashby. I grew up in a multicultural family and building relationships in the community is how I serve.